The menu bar is the home for your most unique apps and tools for Mac. In this video, we're going to look at the most useful menu bar apps for Mac. Don't be fooled by this little app. It is incredibly powerful. One Switch's tagline is, all your powerful switches in one place. And that's exactly what it is. I can hit the icon and down will pop up a list of all the settings I've chosen. I can simply click to turn low battery mode on. On top of that, each switch can be assigned a keyboard shortcut. So now I can simply press option B to toggle low battery mode on and off. Other switches I have include high desktop icons, dark mode, screensaver, night shift, true tone, and screen resolution. Noisio is a really nice ambient sound app that lives right in your menu bar. This is the free version, so my options are campfire, October rain, sea waves, sunny day, and thunderstorm. Check out the cute little animation for each sound. I can also make my own mix of any combinations of the sound and save it to use later. Let's do some rain with the birds chirping. Noisio can be found on the Mac App Store for $9.99, but the free version works just as well, so definitely try it out before you buy it. Up next is Pet Bar, which in reality is a useless menu bar app, but it allows you to have a little sleeping pet in your menu bar. There's dog, cat, bird, chicken, rabbit, hamster, fish, turtle, hedgehog, lizard, horse, cow, piggy, rat, wolf, dinosaur, bear, and owl. Pet Bar currently isn't available to download in the United States, but if you're lucky enough to already have it, it's a great way to add some cuteness to your menu bar. Parallels Toolbox is an app for Mac that gives you access to over 40 different little tools to use on your Mac. I can click the menu bar icon, and you can see that there are just a ton of different options. Just in my favorites section, I have download video, download audio, resize images, convert video, make a GIF, mute my microphone, screen recording, clean my hard drive, countdown timer, stopwatch, transform text, computer sleep timer, presentation mode, computer temperature, and more. But if I go to my library, you can see that there are a ridiculous amount of options. Parallels Toolbox, unfortunately, is $25 a year, which is not worth it. But if you buy Parallels 18, you get a free copy of Parallels Toolbox. And in that case, it's very worth it. Updating apps from the Mac App Store is simple. But what about all the apps downloaded from the web? How are we supposed to keep track of what needs updating? Check out Mac Updater. Click it once to launch the app. Run a scan of your entire computer. And in seconds, Mac Updater will present you with a list of all the apps that have an update available, regardless of if it's from the web, the Mac App Store, or anywhere else. Mac Updater is a one-time purchase of $15. But if you're like me and keeping your software up to date is a must, this app is definitely worth the price. Numi is a super minimalistic menu bar calculator, and it's got a few tricks up its sleeve. Let's say I want to know what the date will be next Friday. I can type in next Friday, and it'll tell me. Additionally, I can do things like 45 milliliters in teaspoons, or what is 60% of 5,000. When it comes to volume control, Mac OS only gives you the option to adjust the entire computer's volume. Wouldn't it be incredible to be able to adjust the volume on an app per app basis? With SoundSource, you can do that. In this example, I have music playing, a YouTube video rolling, and a game running in the background. Check out how, with SoundSource, I can mix the volume levels of each app individually. Turn it off. Now! Additionally, it allows me to assign output sources for specific apps, meaning I can choose to have the game come through my AirPods while the music and YouTube come through the MacBook speakers. SoundSource is a pricey yet incredible app. I highly recommend checking it out.